else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. <laughs> Darius Vassell? Seriously, you only need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? <laughs> 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the shoutiest segment on Irish radio. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Every Friday we pit three of team off the ball up against each other in our no holes barred quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. Allow me to welcome today's contestants. Our first contestant has written an ominous letter to Croke Park, warning them of the grave consequences if they fail to open a cheesemonger in the stadium for Talton Cup final day. Those Cavan tears just won't be the same without a side of Brie. Give it up for the Athlone Bone Adrian, who's your daddy Barry. Good morning, Owen. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Looking forward to this. Which? The quiz. Absolutely. Great. Good to have you. Our next, you. Contestant, <laughs> our next contestant can feel the championship in his bones. As a loyal Mayo fan, this weekend is what it's all about. Those cold, wet, windy February nights when he was at home in Dublin checking Mayo scores on Twitter are the memories he will take to his corporate box this weekend and to his 900 euro hotel room in the Croke Park Hotel afterwards. This is what the GEA is all about. It is, of course, to be Sabelli Hornis, Nathan, Nate, Dog Murphy. You're welcome. Are you getting me into your corporate box zone? No. You're not invited. <laughs> I was in breaking news, is it? Absolutely not. No chance. Have you got one? Have you got a prawn sandwich set up for Sunday? No, I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy a prawn sandwich set up. Keep it real with the people. Mm, nice, yeah. I don't think they, they, would, they do prawn sandwiches I, I on quarter final weekend. What's wrong with prawn sandwiches? Oh, they're, de- they're delicious. Roy Keane they? just decided they, they were, I, they were I, posh. Prawn sandwich is nice. I know, on, on some brown bread, like you know, you wouldn't be eating them in like you wouldn't be eating them in between two slices of white bread and sliced pan, like. But yeah, you wouldn't get them in a deli. And a bit of mayo. Uh, What's that about mayo? <laughs> Just on high alert at the moment. Um, and our final contestant today is the Greg Norman of OTB Trivia. After an audacious attempt to bring a lucrative quiz to Thursday nights to the radio, Phil the Power Egan is said to have referred to this man's backers as scary mfers. Give it up for APM angry producer Mick. Hi, Owen. Um, you know, at some point I had to kind of like look for a rival quiz because I just wasn't being invited here. And, and, and it's not that I'm not being invited that hurts. It's the fact that I listen in when I'm not invited and I hear such people as Arthur O'Dea uh, being treated as this kind of like second coming of Tiger Woods, uh, if you want to keep the golf analogy going, or, or like Phil Egan being the, you know, the, 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 the standard bearer. He, like, it's like Nicholas versus Woods or whatever. And, him sit somebody quietly at home listening, crying into his cornflakes at the idea of not even being remembered as the fact that I'm undefeated in this quiz. Uh, more wins than Arthur O'D. And uh, I don't PhD. know. PhD. Yeah. How many PhDs just, do you have? That, look, PhDs don't win your crappy quizzes. So. Well, the saddest thing actually. about all that is Nathan thought you were talking about him right up to the end there, Mick. <laughs> there's, been, there's been a lot of... I think there's been a lot of um, unsettled moods going around OTB Towers recently because of the nice things that have just been said about Arthur O'Dea and, and John Duggan I have no I problem with Arthur I'll, well, I'll beat Arthur the, in the quiz any the day and quizzes, was it, Matt? I think I, I think Nathan and Mick both quite um, you know quite put out by this it's his call it's, 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 look Arthur has done well for himself he's coming through the ranks right, he's best. doing a good job he's, a, he's possibly even a pretender but until he beats someone who's never been beaten in a quiz since 2016 then you know, I don't think he, I, I think he has to. He has questions to answer. As in real life, I'd also take a happily take a win in the Talton Cup. Yeah, absolutely. Today could be that day, and as ever, the format is a classic crappy quiz with a series of questions and a range of themes. Then on to the slip and slide of trivia, which is the rapid fire round. You can podcast a crappy quiz on otbsports.com or on the OTB Sports app. And if you're watching on YouTube, a thumbs up would be great. You can send any questions you have then via postcard to Crappy Quiz Quizmaster off the Ball Towers, Marconi House, Diggs Lane, Dublin Two. Round one is the boring questions round, never multiple choice. Adrian, it's 10 years ago this week since Ireland got creamed 60 nil by the All Blacks. In which city did that game take place? You've asked this question before and I've got the answer wrong. <laughs> we never recycle questions on the quiz. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, think, I think I need to go for Waikato. It's not Waikato. Oh, it's, it's Dunedin. It's not Dunedin. Auckland, third test. It's no? not Auckland. Okay. Wellington. It's not Wellington. Christchurch? It's not Christchurch. <laughs> um, um, There's nowhere left. I go. No, no. I go. No, hang on. Hamilton. 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 <laughs> uh, so you don't score there, Adrian. Nathan, 
A win this weekend would see the Clare footballers qualify for the All-Ireland football semi-finals since the last time they won the Munster Championship. What year was that? Oh, that's so easy. 1992? <laughs> really famous year, like. Yeah, I've heard of it. It's definitely... You've got to know the answers. Have man. a guess. Question, uh, Adrian's one is like, have a guess of, right. here, there's nine cities ah, in Ah, renowned New rugby man. There's renowned the, rugby the, man who once went to the remembers Southern where games are. talk about it every week. And the fact that Come it was... Come on. Uh, listen, the fact that it was also asked before, I can't stand too much in judgment here. Uh, question one from Mick. The closest Ireland have come to qualifying for a major tournament in women's football was in 2008 when they lost a playoff for Euros for the Euros against which team? <laughs> Slovakia. It is not Slovakia. Anyone? Iceland. 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 So Nathan, do you want to? That's colours, right? Corners. I kind of did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's uh, good logic there, Mick. Vague memory. Yeah. Uh, round two is the pass the parcel of doom round with a twist round. Can I just say the difference in the standard of the, the Nathan's question and my question there is. Well, both of our questions. Well, you're from Clare. You're from Clare. Well, sure everyone knows they won it in '92. It's the only. No, oh, they don't. They do. You knew. Says everything. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go. It is uh, nine twenty-four. People are very much in their breakfast mood still. Um, we are so we're bringing back the past parcel of doom round with the twist round. This is Cullum's round uh, with years and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'm going to give you a year. All you got to do is name the winners and runners up of the competitions that are attached to the year that I give you. So Adrian, your first up, your year is 2021. Can you name the winners Hardest and runners year. up of the Six Nations, the Leinster hurling championship? And women's lightweight boxing at the Olympic Games. <laughs> twenty twenty one. So you want the winners of each of those? And the runners up. Of all three categories. All three. Ah own. Oh. Ah, what, six the... points on the go here, is there? Mm. Oh is there? Okay. What? Six points. Uh, France, six nations. And who's runner up? Um I need I need a pair of answers for each one, please. So far. No no, but you need one six points, so one point per correct answer, of course. No, it's one point for a winner, uh, one listen, point for I mean, up. I know that when you're saying it to Zealand that you're making this up as you go along, but there has to be a point for a correct <laughs> answer, surely. Oh, who was it? Um, we had a chance, and a very outside chance of winning that on the last weekend. So I'll go with ourselves. No, you're wrong. Uh, Wales won it. You don't remember Wales winning the no. Six Nations last year after... We slide them off at the start of the Six Nations. They went on. Oh, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. And France Oh, yeah, she's the most ridiculous Six Nations of all time. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Leinster Hurling, winners, runners up, please. Um, the winners were. Bum, 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 bum. Kilkenny. Yeah, and your runner up? Was. Like, was it the obvious again last year? Did they meet before that? Um... Oh, listen, I really don't know, so I'm going to go with Wexford. No, but you got to make any Just, just uh, to give Adrian a bit more time to think about the last one, which he's never going to get. Um, this is the most ridiculous round we've had so far. This was a great round. The past the parcel of doom was we still unanimously have, we still have welcomed. Unfortunately, Nathan, we, no, we don't. This is this is a new take no, no, on no. that. Yeah. That, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. He's, a, he's arguing it's with you that we don't have it, even though you just said we did. We and do. Round three, in round, front of you. round three is the past the parcel of Doom Round. This is the past the parcel of Doom Round with a twist round. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Come on. Very different things. Um, Lightweight boxing, women's boxing, Tokyo 2021. Winner, runner-up, please. Um, <laughs> Come on. We really Kelly Harrington and Kelly right. Harrington. Well, Kelly Harrington's correct. So you get two points out Sophia of that. Sophia Achigava. No, so it wasn't Achigava. No, you're uh, getting your games mixed up there potentially. Uh, Beatrice Ferreira was who she beat. Two goals. Okay, Nathan, your year is 1991. Can you name the winners and runners up of the Old First Division, the All Ireland Hurling Championship, and the Masters, please? Oh my God. What were the three? First Division, Hurling, Masters. All Ireland Hurling. All Ireland Hurling. Uh, Nathan. Do you want to start with the first division, or do you want to start? The mm. runner up in the well, Masters to, in you, you can take us through positions <laughs> ten to seven to begin with, and then. What are you writing down? What are you I'm looking writing up? down the. I'm writing down the three things I have to come up with. 1991 first division. Yeah. Um, 1990. Uh, Arsenal. Who came second? 
1991. Aston Villa. No, it was Liverpool. Liverpool. Hurling, hurling all Ireland champions and runners up. 1991. Jesus, Premier League commentator. No, that make <laughs> well, it was pre Premier League. Yeah, 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 yeah. Football was only in Pre Premier League. That's true. Pre Premier League. Um, the Masters won this so hard. No the reason. runner up in the Masters in 1991. Very difficult. <laughs> Don Juggan would get would be there all day long though. Like, he was though, yeah. Um, hurling 1991. I'm going to go. <laughs> Tipperary Correct <laughs> And who, who, who lost the final Who lost the final <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous um, Tipperary beat Kilkenny Ah here <laughs> If you say Kilkenny you. for one of those You're three, you three from four so far Masters now Nathan uh, This is his specialist round is it? John Duggan will be twirling in his office chair If you get this wrong I can't get this Ian Woosnam? Correct. Ah, oh, good shout. And who came second? Good. <laughs> That's going to be a total guess either way. Um, As have all your answers so far. Uh, no, no. I got Woosnam. Come on. Five. Arsenal. Four. Three. Um, two. Nick Faldo. No. It was a laugh about it. In 1991, he came second to Ian Woosnam. But a good showing. You got, what was it, four there. So four you're at five points. Mick, your year is 1998. Can you name the winners and runners-up of the World Cup Golden Boot, the Champions League and the Super Bowl? So is this, this is the, like February 98? Yeah. As in the 97 the, the season? Thing, the thing that took place in 1998, yeah. So can I start with the Super Bowl? You can, of course. Um, Denver beat Green Bay. Correct. The Champions League was Real Madrid beat Juventus. Correct. And the World Cup Golden Boot was won by... Sucre. Oh, he got it. Who came second? Ronaldo. No. Ronaldo. Almost perfect. Uh, there was a tie for second place between Batistuta and uh, Christian Vieri in the 1998 World Cup. Well That's done. Fair enough. Uh, Mick got five uh, there, so you're five all with Nathan at the moment, Adrian, in uh, third place. But just Aren't to be you? clear, I got something that happened 31 years ago. Adrian got one that happened last year. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, find yeah. the last year hard <laughs> enough. Introduce <laughs> the next round. I, I would be agree with that, Mick. Yeah. Round three is the Pass the Parcel of Doom round. In this round, all you got to do is give me the name of a li- uh, that's on a list of names. Uh, I have and then the parcel of doom passes on to the next We've contestant lost who then contestant. also has to give me a name Nathan has disappeared from his seat but he will be back I carry on today. carry on on if he's not there moving through there, a yeah. list until one of you gives me an incorrect Get answer out, it's it. like the ball being thrown in at that court absence, game uh, absence equals <laughs> an incorrect answer question 3 yeah. Adrian uh, can you kick us off here can you name someone who managed in this year's Talton Cup um, I can um, John Mahon John Mahon is correct it goes to Nathan next What's the question? Ah, uh, no, you're not there. You're not there. You didn't hear it. You didn't no. hear it. No. Can you name someone who managed in this year's Talton Cup? How many answers have we had? One. Uh, Andy Morn. Correct. Mickey Graham. Mickey Graham is correct. Tony McEntee. Yeah. Ooh, good answer. No, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, Enda McGinley. Correct. Oh, good shout. They get hard um, in a couple of names time, I think. I can't think of any counties. Okay, we'll have to move uh, on. Come on, Owen, shift no, us on here, come on. Come on, on, come on I think on. I'm gone. You're gone? Yeah. You're out? Yeah. Mick is gone. Jack Cooney. Jack Cooney is correct. Nathan? Mickey Hart. No. No. Oh, no, Adrian gets a point. Close <laughs> to the gap. <laughs> Billy Sheehan. Oh. Billy Sheehan was in the oh, room. Billy Sheehan. Niall Carew, uh, Alan Costello and Gary Duffy were joint managing Wicklow. Kieran Donnelly. Of Fermanagh, Evie Fitzgerald of Waterford, Michael Maher of London, James McCartan of Down, Johnny McGinney of New York, Billy O'Loughlin of Wicklow, uh, David Power of Tip, 
Shane Roach of Wexford and Billy Sheehan as you said of Leash <sighs> Nathan you're kicking us off in this one round. stupid answer can you name a player who is in the top 15 most expensive football signings sorry top 20 football signings of all time according to Transfer Market is this like a one-off signing or accumulated uh, one-off so there are repeat there are a couple of repeat there's only 17 yeah. options in this in the top 20 Paul Pogba correct <laughs> um I'm completely blank here. Uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Cristiano. he appeared twice, yeah. Bale. Bale is correct. Coutinho. Yeah. Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is correct. Wow. Um, Haaland. Is not correct. Oh, crap. How much was Haaland? 60. I mean, these clearly aren't adding up fees onto transfer market, but... Um, I can only go with what's uh, in front of me. Need, I just needed to know what the cutoff was there. <laughs> <laughs> you would have expected him to be there, to be fair. Joao Felix. Yeah, Joao Felix is correct. Um, Nunes. Nunes is not there. Is he not? No, Nathan wins what the point. What price was he? 80 million? He's like number 24 or something on the list, just below it. So the ones oh. he didn't get were De Jong, De Ligt, Ousmane Dembele, Griezmann, Hazard, Higuain, Lukaku was there twice. Maguire, oh, Mbappe, Maguire. Neymar is there twice, and Jaden Sancho. Mick, you can kick us off for this one. Okay. Can you name a city that hosted a game at the 2002 World Cup? Uh, should we say Tokyo? Out straight away. Whoa! What? <laughs> 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 oh, 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 one of the greatest answers of all time. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, ridiculous. How did they I love the way, by the way, you were just like, well, I just tapped that one in anyway. I just said, I don't know, so I haven't had a chance. To, when you're up first, you don't have the chance oh, to think about the question. Wow. Adrian, you're next up. Soul. <laughs> Soul is correct. Ooh, some music. Nathan? <laughs> Ibaraki. Ibaraki, yeah. Um, uh, are you Ibaraki isn't on my list here oh whoa I got back oh. Ibaraki oh. did host the game I mean that's where Robbie Keane scored yeah I'm sure uh, Tokyo must have hosted the game for God's sake like are you sure your list is right it is right yeah um, continue on well, um, no, no, let's no, no, let's continue nothing until we establish the facts here. No, I mean, I, I saw the the map of various things just this morning. <laughs> Why were there no games in Tokyo? Did you see any interesting <laughs> trivia surrounding that? Um, no, I, did, I mean, Ibaraki is, uh, is where Robbie Keane scored his goal. It is, it is. And it isn't on the list of host cities. Um, I'm not I'm sure Ibaraki's a city and not like a... Oh. Like that. You're saying it's like... Uh, is it in yes. Tokyo? Yes, yes, you're dead right. Ibaraki is a prefecture. Oh, he's out! He is out. Champion! Yeah. What, what sorry. the hell's a prefecture? <laughs> it's We're like sorry. a problem. That's, yeah, it's a That's not a city. Yeah, That's not a city. Um, it is sure how many cities are there? Tough shit, Paddy. Yeah, it's uh, Kashima. Tell me right now how many cities there are. I, I have. I have. By, by, by the way, sorry. A second. My points are sure in the bag. You're sure all twenty right? of them are cities. You're sure all twenty of them are cities and not prefectures. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's confident in his information. You don't need to be second guessing him. Here, here. before I say anything, my points are in the bag. I am. No, I. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, it's not here. Ibaraki. It's not a city. It's not an answer. Oh, my points are in the bag. Oh, Your so points are in the bag. Yes. Goals. Put them. Where right. did Robbie Keane scores goal? It was in You're a different right. city. city. It was not in the city of. Yeah, Ibar Ibar Ibaraki is a prefecture. Kashima yeah. is a city located in, in Ibaraki Prefecture. What city is the Stade de France in and you say Saint Denis? That's right. Th then you have Ibaraki yeah. Stadium, Inchuan. Inchuan. Kashima, It, wouldn't be, it so. wouldn't be the answer to what city it's is in. Is Inchuan uh, one of the answers? It, it was, absolutely. Busan, Daegu, uh, Daejeon, Gwangju, sure he has Inchuan. no idea whether these are cities or prefectures. <laughs> <Jeonju, laughs> Kashima, Kobe, Miyagi, Niigata, Oita, Quizmasters, yeah. Osaka, Saitama, Sapporo, Siogwipo, Shizuoka, Jesus. Suwon, Ulsan, and Yokohama. Yeah. God, suddenly so, they're like just turned on the TV in the middle of the night. Adrian has, uh, the the power of the Adrian has closed the gap. No, I'm, yeah. I, I have. in Japan for the last World Cup. You don't I, even know what's a city, what's a prefect. I have, uh, I do. A and prefect. I, I, um, <laughs> a prefect. I, I, I managed to get to the correct uh, eventuality there in the end. Nathan, you were wrong. I apologize. Adrian, you've picked up two points there. Oh, History is the wrong. You've, you've got to notice it. Oh, and you've got to notice a surprise to your voice there. But I mean, you should be an impartial adjudicator, but I accept that. 
that. You're on four points. Mick is on five points. Nathan's on six points. I find that the key here is just to pretend that you know what you're talking about and then just power on. So I'm 100% sure that everything there was a totally above board. Great. Round four is the fun free magic number round. Contestants oh, get yeah, three points for getting the number exactly right. If no one manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points. The second closest gets one point. Again, I'm going to say that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper. I'm also going to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, give us the following number. The number of goals the Ireland women's national team scored against Georgia in their last meeting plus the number of Ireland's men's FIFA world ranking position after the latest update. Oh, you always do this oh, and nobody knows. Plus the number of times Chris Froome has won the Tour de France. Plus the number of times a county has completed a double in GEA by winning both the hurling and football All-Irelands in the same year. Your 30 seconds expire Jeez. when Sinatra sings Bright Shiny Beads. <laughs> Oh, that is hard. There's a couple of those that are just haymakers, aren't there? Ireland's men's team, you said. Ireland's men's team. Are you sure you're not looking for the women's team? Probably a better question if you want to go for that. <laughs> um, I, uh, What's the yeah. answer to that? 27. Who do we play? It's got to be a positive. It's got to be a positive. God. What have we got? Tough, 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 tough. Nick? 61. 61? 62. 62. Nathan? 50. 50. The answer is 66. Yes! Oh get God, in! Are kidding me. <laughs> End it now. <laughs> this truly is the Tosh Cup. Blow it up, Fred. Blow it up. In an extraordinary twist, we're all on six points. Uh, the number of goals the Ireland women's national team scored against Georgia was 11. Ireland are ranked 47th in the world. Ah, ah here. Oh, 44. That's a, that's I great. I thought we were Did we drop one? We were 46, were we? Chris Froome has Scotland. won the... We should have been flying up. Chris Froome has won the Tour de France... Four times. Yeah, got that. And double got his arse right. Double must have been done loads of times, was it? Double four times. Cork 1990 uh, and 1890, yeah. Tip 1900 and 1895. Oh. And uh, wow. that brings your total to 66. We tossed a coin beforehand and Adrian gets to go first. Uh, between, uh, Nathan and Mick, <laughs> and Mick gets to go second. Three-way coin. Uh, what? Three-way coin. Three coin. <laughs> coin. <laughs> Say it with confidence and keep going. Yeah, Adrian, Adrian won the coin, coin toss. Mick, uh, Mick, why can't we do a live Mick tossing? Came, Mick, came, <laughs> Mick came second in the coin toss and Nathan <laughs> came third in the coin toss. So. Three Sorry, this is um, three we move on to the final. <laughs> Picked it landing sideways. Our winner tonight Super will be decided in the no team of particular ridiculous easy rapid fire round. I mean, after all the talk about uh, OPHD and Don Juggan earlier, it would well, be quite something if uh, and, <laughs> the agent you know, beat. The, I think that's the, a very fair the, point, the lad, though, and I'm certainly... Gre Greg, who, who pointed out on our YouTube comments a few weeks ago that, you know, I don't bring the brains, I just bring the comedy, which, to be fair, as I've said before, is very generous of him in all accounts. I mean, I'm here, I'm here for you. This is going to get done now. Yeah. You're not even leading. Um, I, am in a, I am in a tie for the lead, absolutely. I wonder, I wonder tonight will be decided in the no team of particular ridiculous easy rapid fire round. Uh, I, I just, yeah, I, I, I do think Nathan was a bit screwed over in the Ibaraki, but we'll come back to that maybe some other oh, time. He was not. Oh, and don't be opening that door for people. Jesus. Round. I've been like, I've been Googling on the side here for quite some time. Don't be, don't worry about that. Don't, don't, don't be 40 seconds getting old answers the same set of questions. Uh, we're going to start with the person with the highest number of points, which is Adrian, then onto the person with the second number of points, which is Mick, and then onto the person. We all the same amount of points, but you've just uh, made up that Adrian's so, getting it. So, Nathan, or sorry, Adrian. I hear you, Nathan. <laughs> Are you ready? I have never been more ready. Okay, your 40 seconds starts now. Megan Campbell plays for what club? Mm, Liverpool. Correct. Who was the women's champion at Wimbledon? Uh, Zvonareva No, Ash Farsi <laughs> what, nat what nationality is Darwin Nunez, uh, Mick? Uruguay Correct, name either of the golfers who came second at the US Open last week uh, uh, Scheffler Correct, name Lewis Hamilton's teammate uh, Russell Correct, name the Burnley manager uh, Company Correct, goalkeeper Nick Pope signed for which club this Newcastle. week? Newcastle Correct, Connor Nash plays for what AFL club? Essendon. No, Hawthorne. What club did Southampton sign Sadio Mane from in 2014, Nathan? Salzburg. Correct. Daniel Whitman represents oh. Ireland in which sport? <laughs> Sorry, what a load of bollocks. So we all end up in the same amount Music of points. Music, Because you've done some imaginary Music. point talk. This does not count as a loss for me at all. Oh, it does. Four I didn't get in a row. I didn't Four get in a row. And... Ibaraki was clearly correct, so I should have been going first. Got la, those la, 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 Prefecture, it's a prefecture. It's like a county. It's an less. area. It's not a city. Less. You can't just make it up. You can't. You can't decide a quiz on an imaginary coin toss. It's either a city or it's not. What you've just done. What happened Where's to the? Where's your grace? Tell us how many caps 
How many caps somebody had? No, this is a Every time I win this quiz, Owen, all I get is moaning from other people. Which, like, it's 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 Japanese, it's a Japanese prefecture bordering the Pacific Ocean, northwest, northwest of Tokyo. That. Look, you win games all kinds of way. I wasn't at my best today, and I still pulled it out. Yeah, I think. We all ended up with six points. I know they shouted by We all ended up with six points. And then an imaginary coin toss. You need to find a way of doing a proper quiz. I did well in the rapid fire round. Come I on. Think, I think that was a really good quiz, guys. Thanks for taking part. Great quiz, on, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, undefeated. The the best undefeated. Man undefeated. At the end of the day. Undefeated. Uh, OTBAM has been brought to you live each morning this week by Gillette Labs for an effortless finish to your day. We are back on Monday morning. Hang up. Is he gone? Is he, that uh, he threw the headphones down? He's like, uh, uh, watch your man's. He's gone! Watch your man's Toto. Wolf, look, <laughs> look at him. God. Just look, look at the face on Nathan. Yeah. I mean, absolutely devastated. <laughs>